You are watching The Bear and the Brush. Roll the intro, mate. Hey guys, I am the bear and today we are talking about a problem that I made just for myself. So when it comes to bidding miniatures, I try to be really clean and tidy, removing all the mold lines, closing all the gaps and normally keeping all the parts. But in this case, um, I may have lost one. <laughs> I built this little fella up and I was pretty proud of him because it was like the first time using oil washes and I put him up on Instagram and he's one of the models that got the most likes so far so um, why not to be proud of him. But then I went looking for another one to extend my army and I saw on the GW box art I will be showing you in a second that there's a huge skull missing on the stuff where all the smoke is supposed to come out. Yeah, what to do now? Um, I looked for 3D printable parts, but of course, um, no luck. And even on eBay, no one, and why would they, um, are selling these bits. So the only chance I have is to do a little conversion. So having just started the hobby, I don't have that much bits at hand, but I do keep all the sprues and so all the spare parts that come with it. So I went digging and I found two parts I could use. Both are from the uh, Art Boys, uh, from the Start Collecting box. Um, there's this huge banner and um, then there's this metal orc head with big horns and I was like, yeah, I want that, thank you. <laughs> and I went for it. So um, I will be showing you today how I took this and like a um, necklace from I have left over for, uh, from Godrek and I will be building like a custom um, pot <laughs> for all the smoke to come out and add this to a miniature that is already done and primed and painted and I will try to keep the look. So um, watch me try to fix this mistake. In the beginning, it's a pretty good idea to just dry fit everything and see if it looks good on the miniature. And after that, it's pretty much a lot of cutting and sanding and sanding and sanding. Of course, you need to glue it all in place. I mean, it should stay on the miniature, right? It depends on the situation if I use rattle can or airbrush primer but in this case the airbrush primer goes on really well with a brush and in this case it's just the best thing it could happen because I didn't need to cover anything up. So I started with the metallics and decided on copper for the head and silver for the chains. And again, I use the Vallejo airbrush colors because they go on so smooth with the brush. You can load up the brush and they flow easily into all places and they actually cover really well. Also, I decided to lighten up a few of the copper parts with the silver to give it a more varied look. But we will be weathering that in a second. Of course, all the other parts need to be base coated and for that I used um, the Vallejo Bone White and a nice deep red for the hairy flyy thingy in the back. Actually, the Bone White is a bit light for bones, but also we will fix this in a minute. When painting tabletop ready, I prefer to use washes because they are so easy and make it look pretty good. But in this case, I used Army Painter Tones. They are actually great for pin washing, but in this case, I slobbered them all over to go for a dark, charred and burned look.
where is smoke, there is fire. I would like to sell the look of a fire, like a magic fire roaring inside the skull thingy and producing all the smoke. First step is to cover the rim of the hat in black and then go in with a nice red, a bright orange and an even brighter yellow, blend it all together, leave some black parts and try to sell the impression of a fire roaring inside this hat. This skull thingy has also like eye holes and a nose hole and I decided to paint them inside with a bright orange and try a little bit of OSL to sell the effect of a fire roaring even more. For the hairy cloth thingy in the back I just went for a little bit of edge highlighting to make it look a little bit more 3D. Weathering is one of my favorite parts while painting miniatures. So a little undercoat of Vallejo dried rust and then some small stipples of Vallejo rust even bleeding down onto the skull make for a very nice effect. To make the copper a little more worn and lively and used, verdigris is my favorite tool because the turquoise tone is a good contrast to all the metal parts and weathering with this stuff is so easy. So the mini is all fixed up I think it's time for a close-up. What is the moral of the story here? What could you possibly take away from this video? What I hope to show you is that even if a miniature is painted or even if you lost a part or even something broke off, you have a chance to fix it and that's the beauty of this hobby. You have the possibilities to sculpt new stuff. You have the possibilities to use your bits that are left over. You have the possibilities to repaint or rebuild stuff entirely. I mean, this was just a minor issue and I hope you could see how easy it was to fix this. Just a little cutting, a little sanding, sticking it together, painting it. Of course, the original part would have been cooler or even not, I don't know. I want you to decide. It would be a great honor for me if you would comment on my first video that I ever made and tell me if you like this little fix. And if you want to see more of this conversions. So guys, that's it, the end of the video. And I got just one last thing to ask. If you could maybe hit those buttons down below, everybody on YouTube is raging about, um, that would be greatly appreciated. But I can't tell you what will become of this. This is a hobby to the hobby. And all I wanted to do is switch around the point of view. Like you see so many good YouTubers, so many masters in this craft. And I learned a lot from them. And I think you could too. But for me, I want to take you along on this ride while I learn this stuff and while I fail and while I try to correct my mistakes and try to find out what I've learned in the process. And if you like to take along, I will gladly take you. So follow me down this rabbit hole and I'll see you next time. Have a nice day guys. Bye bye.